Parliament is back in session for the first time since Hurricane Beryl with some crucial announcements. Prime Minister Andrew Holness on Tuesday introduced a new initiative aimed at post-storm recovery efforts. Ramon Gordon has the details. Parliament reconvened today, July 9, for the first time following the recent passage of Hurricane Beryl. On Tuesday, legislators further celebrated Jamaica's recent removal from the Financial Action Task Force, FATF Grey List, which identifies countries with deficiencies in their anti-money laundering or counter-terrorism financing regimes. However, Prime Minister Andrew Volnes soon took center stage, announcing a new initiative to mitigate the fallout from the island's most recent natural disaster. Today, I am announcing the Relief Emergency Assistance and Community Health REACH program. The major elements of the REACH program will include the distribution of food and essential supplies, utility, water, electricity, and telecommunications restoration, housing and reconstruction support, and economic recovery and restoration of livelihood. Medication is also a top priority as the health ministry moves to reduce the potential for a dengue outbreak. Meanwhile, the labor ministry has been proactive, distributing care packages to families nationwide. These care packages contain enough food for a family of four for four days. By today, approximately 5,000 families would have received care packages. We are coordinating the continued distribution of food, water, medical sundries, and other essentials to citizens in the most affected areas. And I want to repeat that. The work is going on in the most affected areas. Before Beryl, the Holness Cabinet allocated $5 million to each constituency for emergency relief efforts. However, Holness today moved to clarify the roles of MPs in recovery. While members of parliament must not be viewed as the first line of response in a disaster, the reality on the ground is that they are often so viewed. It is important that they be empowered to respond to the critical needs of their constituents, but not to replace the government ministries that have the line task to do so. The government refrained from releasing a final death toll today, though the Prime Minister did confirm at least two deaths. The Prime Minister says while assessments are ongoing, his government is working to alleviate the strain on already struggling populations. Ramon Gordon for CBM News.